Hey, Pastor Jason here. I just wanted to thank you again for being a volunteer. Or if you're not volunteering and you're just here to learn a little bit more about our church, thank you. Thank you for taking the time to consider us and think about us and to um, ask these questions that we believe are important to, to ask. One of the things I want to talk to you about today is generosity. I know. I know, like, whoa, hold up, you're gonna start talking about money, I don't, I don't even have enough money to pay my bill, I get it, I get it. Listen, I've been there, right? Um, our church lives and breathes and functions off of the generosity of its members. Our church um, believes that we should be planting other churches, we believe that we should be moving the gospel all around the world and especially in our town. We believe that our, our money, our finances should go to helping poor. Uh, the Bible says that when we see the, the naked and the cold and the hungry and when we feed them, we are actually seeing feeding the hungry. That is a picture of Jesus Christ. We are feed, feeding, sorry, feeding and, and clothing him. So it's very important for our church that we be generous. So we give money to Stowe Mission. We give money to plant churches. We give money for missions. We also pay my salary and hopefully the salary of the other staff members is as we begin to grow. Um, and we do that with 30% of all the money that we bring in. Okay, so um, this money's not just going for me to go buy, you know, a, a brand new Jeep Rubicon because I don't like the one I have or anything like that. I'm going on a vacation. This money is going for a lot of things. It's also going for us to be able to make uh, an excellent service and to be able to do excellent groups and have excellent activities and excellent um, services so that when people come in, they are able to be at ease and also to see God worship with excellence. So a lot of our software and, and all those things, uh, our services, all of those things, the money goes towards that. In addition, we, we use the money to save for what we believe God is calling us to do, and that is to have a, a multi-purpose facility some, someday in the future. We also believe that God is calling us to do multiple campuses, so our money is being saved for those different things as well. And so, all of that happens through your generosity. Listen, the Old Testament talks about this concept, it's from the very beginning of the Bible called tithing, where that is you give God 10% of the 100% that he gives you, and you, he will bless your 90. If he can trust you with that 10%, he'll bless you with even more so he can trust you with that. When we prove to God that he can trust us, he gives us and blesses us with more. It's called the parable of the talents. I'm not here to tell you that you have to give 10%, okay? And if you don't give 10%, this is gonna, yeah, I'm not, I'm not here to say that. What I would encourage you to do is that, is to follow God's plan that he has through the entire Bible and Jesus actually talks about tithing he said to the Pharisees they should not tithe but then skip out on the loftier matters of loving your neighbor and loving God but he still said that tithing was a good thing and then we find in the book of Acts we find that Christians give 10% to the church and the church uses that to help and bless and make the church grow much like we're doing what I want to say to you is that generosity begins at 11% 10% is obedience to God, and 11% is then generosity. Now, if you're looking at me right now in this video and you're like, I cannot believe you're asking this, my budget is, is not set up for that, I would encourage you, do what makes you believe you're being generous. But I would also encourage you to have a role in the growth and the future and the life change that's happening. We've already seen so much life change in just such a short amount of time. We've seen souls saved. We've seen a lot of baptisms. We've seen people brought in. We've seen people who came to church and they were lost and they were forsaken and they just felt like they had nowhere to go and now they have purpose and direction and they feel like they're a part of a family. All of that is a huge part of tithing and generosity. So we do that in a couple ways. You can give um, in the back. We have buckets. Um, you can write checks. You can put, you know, a million dollar check or a hundred thousand dollars in cash. I'm joking. I'm joking. I, I'm not going to tell you you can't do that though. Um, you can give in the back. Okay. You can also give through Tithely. Tithely is an incredible app um, where you give your bank information and then you can cover the car, car, car processing fees. And what it will do is it will um, remind you, hey, don't forget to give and it will send money straight to the church. You can also give by mailing it into our address or you can use our app. CITW Church in the Wild has an app. It's on Apple and it's on Android. And that money also goes directly into our um, our bank account. So there's a couple different ways to do it. I think 
for us, it doesn't matter how you give, it's more important that you and, and I and we all um, follow God's directions. And there's a principle called tithing that's set up where when God can trust you to bless and feed and clothe others with your 10%, he'll give you more of the other 90. Um, and then there's times for, for generosity. And so uh, we also do mission trips and uh, we're going on our first mission trip here in a while and we intend to do more and do retreats and, um, and have men's outings and women's outings and family outings. And there's so much that God has called us to do and we are just doing the tip of the iceberg right now. So I wanna encourage you to be a part of that. I know that it requires a ton of faith. You've already shown faith in God by attending church and then by being here at Next Steps. And you've shown faith that you're gonna give time. So um, let me encourage you, trust God. He will never let you down. And he's always there for you. And uh, always obey him because he's, always be faithful to him because he's always faithful to us. Thanks guys.